A frequently asked question when somebody either before or after has purchased a telescope from us uh, is how can I get more magnification? Uh, and so for this example we're just going to use the, the Acuta Voyager Mac 80. Uh, I always say get the best eyepiece you can possibly afford. You could spend hundreds of pounds but you don't have to. The Skywatcher Planetary eyepieces, which gives a little bit of a clue as to what they're suitable for, come in at well under £100. And so these are five lens elements, fully multi-coated, nicely blackened edges, and that will help increase the contrast. Uh, the ones I've got with me today are in 6 and 7 millimetres, and that gives a magnification with this scope of around about 114 and 133 times, which is plenty uh, to enhance your, not just planetary viewing, but double stars, uh, smaller compact globular clusters, even planetary nebula from a dark sky. So these are 1.25 inch uh, uh, eyepiece um, barrel size. They come uh, threaded for filters and they're quoted as uh, 16 millimetres eye relief and, and suitable for spectacle wearers. I would say maybe not. I tried these with my glasses on and I couldn't quite get the full fill of view, even with the eye cup twisted down like that. And these do come off rather easily, by the way. It's not a fault, it's just how they are. And so these are uh, given apparent field of view of 58 degrees. And so compared to a standard plossal eyepiece, you get a much wider more comfortable view and uh, I'll, I'll just show you an image now showing it next to uh, a standard what you could call a standard size plossal uh, six millimeter eyepiece you get a much larger uh, surface area of glass to look through so makes it for much more uh, comfortable viewing experience and so what's my advice for using a higher powered eyepiece well firstly put your telescope on the most sturdiest uh, tripod and stable tripod you can afford. You really need the image. The image will will, will shake more in the wind the higher the magnification uh, you go. Uh, number two, uh, allow it to fully cool down the telescope and eyepiece to the same temperature as outside and uh, that, that will help cut down on that atmospheric turbulence you know when it it looks like it, you're looking through rippling water sometimes doesn't it when you get that bit of a heat haze and lastly keep your expectations realistic this is a sub 100 pound eyepiece with a starter telescope so you're not going to get images looking like uh, you've just taken a photograph with the Hubble Space Telescope so keep your expectations realistic and so a link to purchase in the description below obviously you are supporting our channel by doing so uh, as always just re reply to the order confirmation email that you watch this channel I'll, I'll put something like an extra cleaning cloth in the box so as always i hope this helps and i'll see you next time